What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Chronicos. This is episode two. Today we're going to be talking about the Rolex Daytona. Now, the Daytona started in 1963, and at first, this was a racer's kind of track, um, kind of watch. Basically, the tack meter is used to measure your lap times. 2019, most people buying this watch aren't doing that. Uh, you know, they're measuring maybe the steak on the grill or the next time they're going to take a shot on the yacht. You know, nothing, <laughs> nothing as intense as uh, race car driving. Now, this specific model that I have is a 1989 Daytona in two tones, actually a Zenith uh, model. And uh, these are kind of collectible. Of course, the white stainless steel ones are really the ones that collectors are going after. But this one, even in this two-tone gold on black with the red text, is still pretty desirable. Now, the Daytona among collectors is kind of the pinnacle for most people of their collection. It's kind of their holy grail. Um, it's a watch that everyone that you know is into watches strives to collect and have. Especially you know the Zenith models like this one with the El Primero movement. Um, and really, what they told me is just a chronograph, it's a stopwatch. Um, like I said, you know, in 2019, you're not really using it for you know its features. It's more of like a luxury kind of you know showy piece. Uh, now, as we know in the Rolex market, the prices are insane. So the, this one specifically is in the 14 to 15,000 in two-tone. The stainless steel ones are more than that. We're talking 30 and up easily for, a, you know, depending on condition, something like that. Now this reference is the 16523. Uh, the Rolex Daytona, like I said before, among collectors is, you know, a highly kind of necessary piece. Now in the watch world, if you have a Daytona, you're in the game for sure. Uh, in stainless steel, it's a very heavy piece. Uh, in gold, even it's a heavy piece. You know, technically, in gold it should be worth more, but market demands what it demands, and stainless steel reigns supreme among the Daytona lineup. Uh, in 2016, they re-released a new Daytona with a ceramic bezel. If you guys are into the Rolex market, you know that those are now going for thirty thousand dollars stainless steel when the retail is twelve. Um, so a lot of collectors are picking these up because they're a decent value. Um, they're vintage, vintagey like somewhat. They're going up steadily, they're gonna be worth money no matter what. Um, and you know, they're still cheaper than trying to find a modern 2019 Daytona. Now, what are the pros and cons of this watch? Well, the pros are it's a collector piece. If you have this in your collection, you're up there, you know. It's a big, it's a heavy piece for sure. Another pro, like I've said in previous videos, is Rolex. Everyone knows what a Rolex is, you wear this, um, you're gonna get the brand recognition and prestige that you may, you know, desire. Um, some cons though is piece is expensive and in my opinion uh, if you're looking for hot horology you know you want a piece that's you know really will impress you this isn't really it in the sense that the movement is more of a workhorse it's not you know super decorated or it's not you know finished to a T by you know master craftsmanship it's just a really reliable uh, watch movement wise also for 14 to that 20 range depending on which one you go for whether it be steel or white face or all gold. You're in the big three uh, pretty much market. You're in the AP, Paddock, and Vacheron market. And my, for my money around 20, I'm getting a Vacheron overseas every day of the week, no, you know, no, no debate. Um, so this really depends on how much, how much of a fan of Rolex you are. If you're a big fan um, and you don't own a Daytona and you want to get into that collecting game, aficionado game, this is the watch to get. It's definitely not for newbies, it's for people who are serious about watch collecting, you gotta have at least one Daytona, whether it be you know precious metal or steel. Another big con for me for this watch, uh, this is strictly my opinion, um, if this is your first Rolex or your first kind of expensive watch, um, you're not even really impressed with the fit and finish. This watch uses their old clasp that they used for 60 years. It's kind of cheap, chintzy metal feeling. The band isn't actually even that nice. The bracelet is very, very vintage, very 1980s, you know, it was produced in the 1980s, so what can you expect? So if you want to buy something that's impressing you, you might be a little disappointed when you're spending all this money. You're probably thinking, well, where is all my money going towards? I mean, this, is, <laughs> this doesn't feel that expensive. Um, what you're buying is, of course, the heritage of the Daytona. It's, it's a you know, fantastic history. Um, it's just a watch that, it's the most desirable watch in the world, pretty much, besides the Samaritan. I mean, I would say it's number two, or maybe the Samaritan is slightly above it, depending on you know, who you ask as collectors. Um, so the cons are pretty much, you're getting something that's not gonna feel you know, modern, unless you get you know, a 2019 one, but prepare to pay $30,000, of course, in this market. Um, or you're gonna also get something that maybe needs to be serviced, and 
when you're dealing with servicing vintage pieces, you're gonna get into the issue of, you know, certain things that you do to it uh, will reduce the value. So you have to know what you're doing when you service it. And the last thing is, this is a 40 millimeter watch. Now, to me, 40 millimeters is the perfect size, but to most people in 2019, they want something bigger, 42 to 45, and you know, look at, you know, other brands are doing, you know, bigger sizes. So that's a big downside if you want something that looks modern. Uh, but other than that, the Daytona is a fantastic piece. Uh, a must have, I think, in any serious collector. But yeah, other than that, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, you know, stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, we'll be uploading uh, more videos coming soon. I have a bunch of watches I want to talk about. And yeah, stay tuned.